guys, let's show you what is going on here. So, we are getting ready to paint the 72 Chevy pickup, uh, all the interior of it today here. So I'll just show you what goes on, how it's all ready. Get in the shop here. Oh! There we go, there's, hang on, let me, let me shut this music down a bit. We've got a bunch of noise in the background, right? There we go. So, we are, we've got our doors all laying down. Ready to rock and roll. Just doing the inners. Then we're doing all the firewall. You know, inside the cab. All that kind of good shit. Gonna get all that done. Get her all ready, get her painted. We're going back to stock color. Going back the uh, medium olive green. You can actually see a little bit of it coming through right here. That's the color she was. So we're going to get on to spraying that up. Not there, and a couple doors, like I say, and that's about it. That's what's happening there. So we'll, um, yeah, well, we'll give you a quick, what else can I show you while we're here? Let's see. Paint, you're probably going to wonder what kind of paint I'm using. I'm using Matrix. I'm using Matrix paint. Um, it doesn't say Matrix on the can. They never label their cans, but that's their uh, that's their Matrix right there. See, olive, metallic, medium. There's the reducers. You got slow. You got medium. You know, so that's what we're taking care of there. Uh, we 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 paint with all sorts of different stuff, but Matrix is usually our go-to paint. Just like we paint with several different clears, or I should say, we put several different clears over top of our base coats. Just depends on what. Um, what the customer is willing to spend because at the end of the day you can buy shitty paint you can buy good paint you can buy shitty clear you can buy good clear so we try and run with a mediocre clear we don't buy the most high-end stuff unless the customer requests it and uh, that's about it sometimes you run the lower end clear if a guy comes in and says look i just want a quick wham bam give me a paint job but those guys don't come around much anymore um because the thing is nowadays there is no quick wham bam paint jobs it's paint Clear, sandpaper, all of it has gone through the fucking roof. I can't sand a car and paint a car unless you're going to give me 10 grand. That's it. See you later. No body work, no nothing. 10 grand. Don't bother. Just, I can't do it. People come here and they say, I want you to repaint my whole car. I'll give you 5 grand. I'm like, dude, it's 3 or 4 days just to sand it. You got my wages. Then you got the sandpaper. You got the masking tape. You might need a little primer blown on it. Then we got the paint. No. You want to give me 5 grand? No. Walk away. Can't even handle it. That's just the way it is. Um... Yeah, and we got the bug. The bug is all messed up, the VW. We're gonna be shooting some colors on that too. So we're gonna be spraying all up in the engine bay first. And I can't get around here to show you, but then we're gonna be spraying up underneath like the trunk area. So we'll get some, uh, we'll start laying some paint down and we'll, uh, We'll get back to you here. All right, so we're back out of here. We're getting some paint work done. Can't stay in here too long because of the fumes, but there we go. There's the doors. Of course, you got to do the white trim all the way across there because the top of the doors on the outside are white. Now we'll get to the trim. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at the shine on that. A lot of times you'll get this is a good place where you're going to get a run or a sagger. Here it's absolutely perfect. No runs. Looks nice. Look at the shine on that roof. You can see everything in it. Dash, everything up underneath sprayed. Here, motor along here. Let's shut this fan up. There we go. Did the white along here, because the roof is going to be white, so we sprayed this now, just ahead of time. You don't worry about this, is this, this green on here will sand off, because this is all going to be white later. That's just the overspray, we just let it land there. Absolutely stunning. So happy with how this is all turning out. That's it. We're rolling, folks. We're going to get the bug in here next. We're going to start on that. And uh, 
We'll show you how that turns out. Okay, truck is moved outside. Doors are moved around and bug is in place. So, got some parts hanging up here. Some trunk hinges, some hood hinges hanging over here. Got all that going on. Let's turn off this music for a second because we all know what happens when the music's on. Old YouTube says you can't play that. Anyway, there we go. So here's what the bug, what's going on today is what's going on. We're going to paint the engine bay now up underneath here. Now the truck's out of the way. Like I say, we push one out and get another one right in behind it. We're going to do that. We're going to do, uh, we started doing this. Now what you see, this is painted, but we had a little issue, had a little bit of a hanger over there. So we had to sand it out. This we painted a, a while back, a week back. So to sand it out, we're going to repaint it. Just give it another coat there and fix that up. So, and then we're going to paint all up inside. This is your trunk area on a Volkswagen, remember, because the Volkswagens have the engine in the back, in the rear. So, we're going to do that. And then, of course, we're going to get up underneath. We're doing this. We've got to get up underneath here and paint all up in here. All this is going to get painted. So, this is what we're on to next. So let's get some paint happening and let's see uh, see how it goes. We'll be right All back. All right, so we got some orange sprayed here. Like I said, we are rolling along. There we go. Got all the hinges and little bits and pieces kind of sprayed up. Looking really, really good. Now onto the car. Absolutely beautiful. Just tacking up nicely. I don't know the name of this color. This is actually a commercial color the owners picked out for this car. So it's, um, when I say commercial, I mean like commercial vehicles, like fleet vehicles, stuff like that. This isn't something you would see on a daily driver. It's hard when you're painting all these nooks and crannies too. It's just almost impossible some days. Look at that deck lid. Look at the shine on that. That is crazy. That's just crazy. Like wow. This is probably one of the worst spots to get. I mean, you got to get up inside there, everywhere around. You got to get down all up in here. I mean, I, I believe this is where your spare tire goes. <clears throat> I'm not really a VW guy. I love VWs. I think they're neat, they're cool, but I've never owned one. Something I've never owned. That's amazing. But there you go, guys. So there we go. We're painting away there. Got a lot of that done, taken care of. Next will be mask all the front off, mask all the back off. Mask the top of the car off, all the sides, because you don't want to get overspray all over everything. It's a nuisance after the sand. And then we're going to be painting the interior. So we'll leave this now for a few days, let it harden up, move on to other projects. That's how we do it around here. You know, we spend a little bit of time on someone's car, like three or four days, and we go on to another car for three or four days, and another one for three or four days. And that is how I keep the ball rolling. A lot of you guys ask me, Rick, I don't know how you keep so organized. You've got a dozen jobs on the go, and there's only four of you there. And there's only two of us that are actually full-time. Sean and I are the full-time guys. And then, um, you know, the rest are just coming and, you know, they're just kind of part-time helping out, right? And how you do it is I just rotate. I keep an eye. Like, I make a plan. Every Sunday night, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to put Sean on this for two days. And I'm going to put Chris on this for a few days. And Mike on this for a few days. And then I'm going to push them around. get them. They get two or three days on that. Then I'm going to rotate another car. And so everyone always gets some work done to their car. Granted, if you brought your car into me and I just worked on it steady, you'd get it done quicker. But majority of my customers do not want the car right away. Uh, they want to take it a little slower, a little easier on them. It makes it easier on the payments, right? Not that there is payments. I do payday. For those of you wondering out there, how do you do your money? Well, I do payday every two weeks. Your car rolls in here. Every second Friday, you come and pay me for material and labor and what I've done to it. And I don't care. Unless someone passed away in the family, you're in a car accident. I don't care how sick you are. I don't care how hungover you are. I don't care any of that. If you don't get out here and pay me, I'll shove your car outside in the weather, no matter what. And when you do show up and pay me, I'll get my money and you take your car and you'll go home. Because I've got a list a mile long. 
I don't play the game when it comes to that because I don't take any money up front. So I count on my paydays every two weeks. And this way you get to see what I'm doing to the car. You get to see how it's coming along and there's no issues with it. And if a, a problem does arise, we get to look at it and discuss it and go through it. That's always worked for me. I ran this business for 18 years now and never had a problem with it. So, and that's how it'll continue to run. So anyway, I'm glad you got to see some paint work getting done here. We're playing catch up. We're rolling right along now. Videos are back on again. Summer's, um, I don't know. I hate to say it. Is summer winding down? I hope not. Anyway, hey, it's always a good time in old time. We'll catch you next time.